Hey, how's everyone doing? Uh, we're back on a C4 Corvette and we're going to wire up the um, toggle switch for the fan. Um, right now, I currently have it wired um, so it's on with the, the ignition and the key. So we're in the process of undoing that and running some wires from inside the car to where the toggle switch is going to go to the actual sensor which is back in there uh, right over there oh uh, you can't really see it I'll, I'll put a light on that in a little bit here unless I have one right here hold on let me put a light on this all right we're back I got a light on the situation there goes the uh, sensor down there you can see the wires cut I now have that wire plumbed into this into this blue wire and we're going to connect it to this blue wire so that's going to be our power wire then off the toggle switch in there, we're going to run the ground. It's going to come over to here, and we are already cut this wire. We are going to run it to ground. So now all we have to do is just hit the switch. We can leave the switch on all the time so that when you turn the car on, the fan's on, shut the car off, the fan goes off. Or if I want, during the really cold weather, I could just shut the fan off, and when she warms up, then we could just hit the fan on if needed. I'm out here in Connecticut, so it does get to zero degrees out here. So, you may not want the fan on at that time. So, let's take a look on the inside. Oh, one other thing, too. Um, I got the uh, headlight all rebuilt. Uh, changed the two gears in it. I got it all lined up nice. Looks pretty good. Here goes the gears right here. That's, there's our problem. So, I changed them both. We're good. This side I didn't have to do anything to, so that's fine. I still got another set of gears. Uh, I must have put them away here to do this side if I ever need to. But let's go inside and check out how the toggle switch is going to go. Alrighty. So, I got this all pulled out. And I ran the wires. I was able to, can you see, I was able to stuff the two wires up through here, through that gap, and I was able to pluck them with my fingers through here. And they just popped right through. So we're going to run that, and we're going to run the toggle switch down to about here. So this is about the only space I could find where I could actually fit this in here. So it's going to be like this. So there we go. We're going to run the wires straight down to the side of this. To the back of this, I'm going to put connectors that just slide right on. And that's it. Pretty much easy enough right there. Then uh, there's a panel underneath here that I'm just going to um, unbolt. Um, it is a size. There we go. Looks like 930 seconds is what that is. And you just pull the panel down, tuck the wires up underneath, and we're good. And I also have to drill a hole into, into this. So it's gonna hole's gonna be somewhere around here. I gotta slide it back on, match it up, and then I'll mark it and drill it, put the toggle switch in there. And I'll show you how I ran the wires through the door. Okay. Yeah, I'm still waiting on parts. I'm waiting on the freaking, uh, the radiator hasn't come in yet, so. That's why we're just playing around with this, uh, like I call it tidying up. And we're able to put this through right here. I might tuck this all underneath over here. Have it go through there. It goes through the door. Through here. And then they're just going to go right over here. Then I'll splice it all in over here somewhere nicely. Yeah, and uh, yeah, pretty much that's it for right now. So I'm going to hook all this up, drill the hole, get all that done. I'm not going to video any of that. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, I was underneath the rear end. Hold on here. Let me uh, shut this off for a second. All right, if you guys were watching the, um, what do you call it, video, my uh, rear end fluid differential, this thing was all dirty and grimy. I pretty much cleaned it all up. 
nice and clean uh, both sides so she's looking good figured I'd just throw, throw that in real quick here too I have been doing a little bit of projects on here anyways let me go get uh, back on what I was doing and uh, we'll finish it up bye bye alright we're back I got the wires run I have the switch plugged in I'm going to put a little electrical tape on this before I button it up and then um, yeah all we do is this if you can see, this is going to tuck in right over here. I already test fitted it. It fits. And what we're going to do is this. Now, with the key off, does nothing. Key on, still does nothing. Now, and there you go. Fans on. Nice. I've been wanting that done for the longest time, so we finally got it done. So let me clean this all up and um, yeah, we'll go from there. Alrighty, bye bye. All right, we're back. We're all installed. Not bad, nice. So we're good, it's all buttoned up. Everything's put together. It's a nice clean install. I'm actually happy with this one. Um, wires are all tucked up. Ran through. We'll take a walk over there in a second. We'll show that. Uh, one thing to keep in note is this was a uh, a lighted switch has an LED a blue light right here on this particular toggle switch so when this thing's right here you got a bright ass freaking blue LED laser beam in your eyes so I didn't use it garbage <laughs> so okay so that's all set uh, let's take a look at the wiring they have the battery undone again oh, let's see all right, wires are ran through. All the way here. I got them spliced in over there. This is the ground right here. I spliced in there. And I just ground it right to here to a bolt that was already there, being used as a ground for something else. Uh, looks like it goes to the horn or the headlights. So there's the ground there. Disconnect the wire from, I cut the wire on the uh, temperature sensor, fan temperature sensor, and I just ran it to this blue wire to the back of the switch. Now I do have loom here, but it's too big. Good wire loom. So I have to stop and get some thinner uh, wire loom and just tuck it, you know what I mean? Make it look nice and, com and, and tidy, I guess. We have it nice right here. There you go, you can't see any wires. We got these right here. And I'm going to use the loom on this right over here. Put that through. Uh, one day whenever uh, I find a hole that goes through the firewall, I'll just reroute them through the firewall. I'm just not going to do it right now. So yeah, that's it. We're all done. I just have to get some of this uh, thinner wire, wire loom. And uh, yeah, but she's functional just the way I like it. We're good to go. It's nice and clean. Install. And um, yeah, so that's it. We'll end this video here until the next one. See you guys later. Bye-bye.